Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for November 30th. Currently looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This particular pair we have uh, closed down today during this last session. It did break the previous session's high, but just by a few pips. Uh, we are looking for this pair to continue moving down with a bias to the downside. Look for it, however, to potentially move as high as 87.48, possibly as low as 85.26. Look for some resistance at 87.00 and look for some support around 85.85. Okay, now looking at the Euro USD pair, this particular pair uh, closed down today. It is moving sideways overall with a bias uh, that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 151.54, possibly as low as 148.97. Look for some resistance around 150. 50 and look for some support around 149.50. Okay, now the pound US dollar pair, this particular pair closed down. It did fill the gap uh, just like the Euro USD did. Um, remember, we have a very high probability of it occurring prior to Friday's close. It did close um, the gap before uh, this new session has started. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a heavy bias to the downside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 166.82, possibly as low as 162.86. Look for some resistance around 165.90, and look for some support around 163.75. Now, looking at the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed up today, uh, closed pretty much within the range. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with the bias sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 10128, possibly as low as 0.9937. Look for some resistance around 10075, and look for some support around 0.9990. Well, that about does it for the charts, uh, at least for now. We do have the Australian uh, RBA Commodity Index uh, being released tomorrow at... 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that, there's actually no consensus. Uh, previous was negative 31.1%, so definitely look, uh, keep an eye on that one. Now, the Swiss has their GDP being released for the third quarter at 1.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we do have a consensus on this one. It uh, looks like things have gone from a negative 0.3% to a positive 0.3%. Year to date, uh, it's a positive move from negative 2.0% to negative 1.5%. Overall, if these numbers come out uh, come out as they're anticipated or better, we could definitely see um, the Swiss rise. It would be good news for the Swiss. Now, the European Union has the German unemployment change for November being released at 3.55 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Consensus on that one is that the unemployment rate has gone from a negative 26K to 5K. Now, the U.S. has their ISM manufacturing for November being released at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that is that things have dropped a little bit from 55.7 to 55.0. Uh, overall, that this news announcement really shouldn't affect the U.S. dollar all that much. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? If you go to the Japanese yen, drop to the hour time frame, back out a little bit, um, maybe not that much. Here we go. You'll notice that we have this large dip that occurred over a two-hour time period. It dropped down, and then it came back up. Um, if we get another drop to the downside, this pair is um, consolidating down. Okay, um, so we could get a breakout uh, on the day time frame. There's a potential for a reversal, although long term the trend has been down. So going with that trend, if we get a break to the downside, I am looking for a potential. Let me see if we can put some lines on the chart here. Looking for a break of this particular hours low looking to sell around the 85.70 mark and then looking to 
exit this particular trade around uh, around the exit around the 8515 mark. Uh, so kind of what that looks like from a pip standpoint, you're looking at about the you know 56, 53, somewhere in there 55 pip mark. Uh, I do anticipate this occurring sometime soon. If you do, uh, if you want to trade another little scalp, you could draw your trend line there and look for it to essentially break this and come on down to this point. I, I do believe we could get that very easily within one session, um, and that would give you roughly about a 25 pip uh, profit. Now, if you did take that, another scenario you could do is sell short here at this point, go to break even, and look for it to come on down to this point and then exit at that at here, which would give you, uh, instead of 55 pips, give you more like 75. Definitely something to look at uh, over this next session. Well, that pretty much does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.